Everybody, we are back with another review, and today we're checking out some tool holders sent over by Joystar Tools. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review, and let's check out some of these tool holders and the two different styles that we ended up getting. Uh, straight out the gate, check out their Facebook right there. That is the QR code. If you want to scan that, go check them out. Um, we got a shorter one here, which I'll show you. <clears throat> this is an acrylic one, which has two levels here, which is really nice. And then we have a little bit larger metal one, which has a base that allows you to almost angle this any which way that you want, basically up to 90 degrees. So, which is really nice, actually, that, you know, you can have your tools on an angle like that at the workbench. Well, I got some tools over here. What we're going to do is we're going to put them in here and see how they fit and see what, what these can kind of be used for. Um, applicationally, straight out the gate. Um, I'm using, going to use these for some technical stuff, more so maybe my gun cleaning kits, um, some of my electronic stuff, more so maybe some of my little oscillating tools, little rotary tools. I could put some bits in there. Um, 3D printer probably for this, maybe 3D printer, airbrush. Um, this would probably be great for that. I was just basing that off of the many tiny holes there. Um, so let's check them out. Let's see what we got. And... Let's go with the metal one first. We'll check this one out. And we'll kind of see what kind of stuff we can fit in here. So it has, some of the holes have a stoppage here, which allows it to not go through. As you can see here, you can put some rotary tool bits here, um, little drill bits, stuff like that. Uh, precision screwdrivers, some regular screwdrivers. You can probably fit some cutter, cutting tools. Um, you know, more stuff over here, cutter wise, pliers, stuff like that. So we'll check that out. And then it has a metal base here to protect the surface from getting marred up from the tips of the devices you're sticking in there. So let's check out, I'm going to grab a little handful of some stuff over here that I put aside. Um, so we got, we got some tweezers, some long tweezers. Um, let's see, we could probably, probably slide those in the back right there. Precision screwdriver. Uh, we could probably stick that right there in the front. We got a little multi-purpose wrench here. Let's see. Holds it nice in the back, and it actually is resting on the bottom, so it's almost kind of made for it. All right, let's see. We got some screwdrivers. I got I brought some screwdrivers out. We got some Klein ones. Nice. Phillips. Robertson. We got a smaller Phillips. We could probably put that in the back. We got a long daddy flathead. We'll put that in the back. And then we got another another flathead, which you could probably put right there. Cool. And actually, now I'm thinking about it, we could probably even, if you wanted to, you could probably put the tweezers um, upside down right there in the back, which is nice. So we were talking about some oscillating little rotary tools. So I got a couple things. I got a little paddle sander, and then I got some gr a grinding wheel, and I got a little polisher. So... Let's see what we got here. So definitely more so drill bit for these on the on the far left or in, or engraving tools, I guess you could say. Um, you could definitely put some of your little rotary bits up top over here where those maybe those precision screwdrivers could go. Speaking of precision screwdrivers, let's put some uh, let's put some stuff in that back row back there. So I got a little precision screwdriver. We could just probably plop that in there. Nice. Not crowded at all. Actually, you know what? We'll put some of these maybe in the front because I got something a little bit longer to put in the back. We got some extensions here um, that I use on the regular. Got a couple more to add to that little back rack, which is nice. So lots of, lots of tools are fitting in here, which is good so far. And then uh, we'll pull out some, some pliers. Let's check out some of those and some of my 3D printer nippers. So, I got these little nippers from Klein that I like, the flush cuts. Um, they do have a sharp tip, so I don't want to do something like that. Um, but we could do something like this. Could put them tip down so nobody gets gets nipped by the tip. Um, we got some needle nose. Let's see, the needle nose do not fit in that one, but maybe some, nope, those don't fit either. What about some six inch Cobra necks? fit perfect look at that they hold the cobra necks so let's move these to the back so we got some wire strippers wire cutters maybe we could put some of the 
needle nose there as well. The multi-use wrench. Might have lost its seat at the table, but um, it's okay. It's okay. Uh, we got some nice areas you could put a pencil, mechanical pencil. I brought some super glue over because I wanted to see if these little flat slots. Yeah, look at that. I'm going to hold a little, little super glue tube. Let me see. What else did I bring over here? So speaking of flat, flat slots, we got a long one here, which I don't really know what you would put in this long slot particularly, but I do have a ruler that I put in there. It's not going to be slot filling, if you would, but um, it works, right? We got a nice little Q-tip cleaning tool here, um, which would go great over here as well. If you don't want to put drill bits in there, you can put your, your cleaning Q-tips there for whatever you'd be cleaning. Um, let's see here. We got a nice little quarter inch. We could probably put that there. We got a little Stanley screwdriver. It doesn't look like he's going to get a home, the, uh, the wrench. But I think overall, we're able to load this up with a variety of tools, a variety of things that you could use on the regular. Now, again, this is just some tools that I brought into this. Putting in uh, whatever tools that you like, you know, just because the holes are you know, certain sizes or certain uh, shapes doesn't mean that they're, you're limited to what you, have, you could put in there. Like I said, the applications for these, both of these, which we're going to check out in a second here. I'm going to pull the other one up and we're going to use use that for a little bit better example. They, they have a little more applicational um, strategy to the way that they put the, the holes and they did the design of these. Because you can see with some of these, like, for example, the ruler, um, you know, doesn't really have a home in something like this. Um, but this would be great for like airbrush, 3D printing. Um, you can pull out some of these tools like this and maybe send them straight up in the air. Let's see, needle nosers, you know what I mean? Straight up in the air. Uh, some of your precision drivers, you can have that for tweaking your 3D printer if you're installing some parts. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's other stuff here. Precision screwdriver, definitely. Um, you could probably put that in one of these, maybe. No, maybe one of these. It's a little more focused. There we go. A little more focused. It holds it a little bit better. Um, your nipping shears. Now, I don't necessarily, again, want to have those face up over here. Um, just because I don't want to get nipped. nipped with the tip when I'm going to blindly grab something off of the rack. So, yeah. I guess we could probably put this... I can't really, the needle nosers aren't really meant, I guess, for this type of hole setup, but it looks like it works out great over here, which is really nice. And again, short, small, stubby stuff like that works out great on this. But I would probably use this for maybe 3D printing, airbrush, uh, crafting, stuff like that would probably be a good application for this. Maybe use the metal one for more tool-based Um Weight. I don't know if the acrylic itself is going to be able to handle a lot of the weight. Plus, it's a lower profile, which is really not meant for any of these larger, uh, you know, larger tools like this. You know what I mean? There's you can't really see it, but there's there's probably uh, that much of the screwdriver dangling off the top of this stand, even though it looks like it's straight. It's just because it's a smaller diameter hole. You know, if you do something like that, you'd see the. The true lean and how much it sticks up so its intended purpose is pretty much stated in the design here you could even see something small like that little quarter inch adapter uh, fits in there perfectly you got some some cutoff wheels some sanding wheels a little grinder throw that over there so again smaller parts i would say larger stuff um, definitely metal for the tools i would say for weight it would suck to break this acrylic um, with something you know large and clunky i think it's more going to be for delicate precision work so joystar appreciate you for sending this over glad i got to check it out and yeah we'll definitely be using this uh, with the 3d printers and might do a follow-up who knows we'll see why don't you let me know down in the comments below what you think of the little tool organizers slash workbench little tool holders down in the comments below, what application would you use for this little acrylic one, more delicate precision one, or what about this metal one with the uh, 45 degree angular uh, approach for tools? So let me know down in the comments below. And yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want more content like this, subscribe for more. And have a great rest of your day.